brand new from an artist by the name of Dane. She's from Holland, and I believe she might be living over in the UK right about now. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But regardless of that, I have my second special guest of the day. Would you like to introduce yourself, young love? Linus! Woo! Linus <laughs> here in the building! <laughs> and in true Linus style, um, she arrived in the building about 25 minutes after she was due here. Well, you, tell, you told me the wrong time on purpose. So. I told you the wrong time, but you still didn't make that time either. <laughs> anyway, so Lioness, I'd like to start off with the same question with everybody. What's your name? What do you do? And why do you do it? My name is Lioness. I'm an artist from the UK. Um, I do it because I love music. Mm-hmm. And Lioness... Oh, go on. you about to say something No, go on, go, go on. I'm going to say Lioness are turned up here late, but in a sexy tight Ooh. velvet dress. You have to give them the velvet <laughs> drop sometime, you know? In it? Are you me? <laughs> so Lioness, it's been a long yep. time, long time, long time. So the last yes. time we've done a radio interview, yep. um, you turned up late and we got about <sighs> 10 minutes out of you. Thank you for that. You said late like seven times, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to get a little bit more time out of we you. We are. Know, which is good. So... So much to talk about. Lots. So much that I um, probably will forget most of the things that I want to talk about so <laughs> in typical <laughs> yeah. fashion of myself. Um, but so we are in a state, place where you have now released your brand new single, which is, well, it's not brand new anymore, but your new single, DBT. Yep. yep. So when we last met, you had your first single up when you come out of retirement. Yep. Which was called? <laughs> Everything Mad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's do a little bit of a recap on that. What was that and why did you release that as a first comeback single? Everything mad because obviously I'd been away for six years um, and I really wasn't listening to new music at all. I was in my own cocoon. So when I've started to come out of this cocoon, I'm hearing what's going on musically yep. and I'm like, oh, okay, is this what we accept now? Okay, cool. Oh, no, and stop, I'm, stop, stop, stop. What does that mean? Like, uh, that can be taken <laughs> two ways. <laughs> is this what we accept? Like, yeah. I just felt like the level uh-huh. of music had and dropped. artistry had dropped. Woo! Yes, I found. Mm-mm. So I was like, okay, Ra, is this what we do? Okay. Um, why, do you, why do you say that? Because I, I so, so from the time that you left to the time that you came back, I personally think that the, the levels had improved. I think production wise right but musically but, what you listen to your in your ears but uh-huh, lyrics uh-huh, okay. and what we're putting across in our music uh-huh. had dipped in my humble opinion mm-hmm. that's yeah, what well, i thought I'd, I'd agree with that i just wanted to come out of your mouth that's all. <laughs> so that was one element of it music wise and then just things in life that are mad like guys will have a girl and that's the one that rides for him down for him but then he just wants some trophy in his arm so he just do you know what I mean? But that's been the, the that's the, from from the caveman days. I, I know? know, but I'm just highlighting that everything okay. is mad. All right, okay. So, All yeah. right. Um, there's a lyric in that in that, that song as well where it talks about you won't ask someone to post something for you. I can't remember it nah, now. So yeah, long yeah, yeah. Where did that come from? Because so many people, especially when I wasn't doing music, so mm-hmm. no one cares about what I have to say right now. Mm-hmm. You're in my DM asking me to retweet. Do you get a lot Your of that? project. Yeah. yeah. And I just think it's so mad. But for me personally, I would want somebody to retweet it because they want to. Okay. Off their own back, not because I've asked you to do it. Okay. All right. That's so all. I get why people do it, but I just wouldn't personally do it. Since you're dropping everything mad, like, yeah. has, do people still ask you to retweet stuff? Or are people being reluctant no, to ask No, no, some people still do. Okay, right. <laughs> I take it they've not heard it. Oh, yeah, so, so, <laughs> listen to my tune. That's what you do. Just send them the, the YouTube link. Like, no, <laughs> then you work out why As I ain't doing response, it. response, yeah. <laughs> so you, you, that song was out. It was, um, everyone loved it. Thank yeah, it you. It done really well. Um, great little video. Very simple, but great video at the same time. Yes. Which is sometimes the best videos. Yeah, because I was very shy coming back what? into it. I was shy. I know, I know. Lions get shy. After that, you came... Full force with the brand new single, which is DBT. Yeah. Now, when we done our interview, yeah, you did tell me you had a track called DBT coming out. So yeah. you already knew. Yeah. At what point did you know DBT was coming out? Did you know that before you dropped everything mad? Um, I've got a sneaky feeling that you did. I knew. Yeah, I did, mm-hmm. but I hadn't written it yet. But I knew everything that I wanted to say. So when me and you met, yeah, did you had you written it then? I had some of it. Okay, right. Okay. Well, remember, because I've done a freestyle and then I've done the remix. Yeah, exactly, so yeah. the freestyle, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, and then you told me what DBT st- stood for. Yes. Which is? Dead black thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Right, because you know what? <laughs> you could have put a nicer title on it. No, because it's not nice how we're treated. So let me just shock you all. Like, I'm shocked every time I get called it. Right. Okay, right. Boom. <laughs> okay. Take that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 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 
So, where did that come from? Like, I know you, so you, you, you obviously would have had situations where you've been, where you felt like a dead black thing. Yeah. Yeah, because, yep. But what made you write that song? Like, because I'm assuming during the course of your career, before you, the, the break, yeah. you probably would have experienced that as well. Yeah. Maybe more so even then than now. I don't yeah, know. Um, but what made you d- decide, you know, I'm going to deliver this message now? Because when I wasn't doing music and I was on Twitter, I would just always see dark skinned women being dragged and cast, and it was okay. Like, you know, all the tweets that are coming out now from the past. Yeah. It just shows how widespread the problem is. Everyone wants to focus on the per- person. Talking about Maya Jama. Not, not her in particular, but okay. she said some things. Uh-huh. Steph said some things. Uh-huh. Cadet said some things. Poet said some things. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have said Kevin things. Hart said some things. Kevin Hart said some things. Uh-huh. So there's so many people, but it just shows how widespread the issue is. And it was accepted Okay. in those years, 2011 to what? See, I'm a little bit naive. I'm going to be All honest. Right, come right? On. And I'm going to get shot mm-hmm. to bits for this. Because um, when I hear stuff, yeah. yeah, people get dissed all the time. Okay, yeah. yeah? Um, like... I'll get this. Uh, coolie boy. Like, I'm not coolie <laughs> boy. You call me coolie boy all the time. Like, and it's just one of them things. Like. Yeah. So do you think like it's people being overly sensitive? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate here for anyone who's listening and thinks, who's this guy? Right? <laughs> uh, do you think people might be play, being overly sensitive or do you think it's genuinely a problem? Because I think that's on some cases, yeah. it might be definitely a case of, you know what, um, colorism. Yeah. On some cases, it might just be a case of people being sensitive. Yeah, it's not sensitive, I don't think. At any because point. if it's just one person, mm-hmm. people calling you singular, mm-hmm. coolie boy, and you're not, mm-hmm. cool, that's mm-hmm. a separate situation. Right. But it's a whole group of individuals, okay. which is all dark skinned women yep. that it applies to. Do you not think light skinned women, again, playing devil's advocate, yep. do you think light skinned women are not, for example, Drake? Yes. Yeah? Um, a, a very popular um, show in the US that's on YouTube. Uh, the Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah. Always refer to him as the waffle coloured Negro, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Light skinned guys get it too. Yeah, they do. Yeah? They do. Is that colorism? In a, in a form, but it doesn't stop them from doing what they do. Oh, so you feel it stops? I don't feel like they're blocked. Oh, okay. Right, so now we... we okay, so you feel that um, people of slightly darker skin shade are blocked from... Yeah, well, maybe blocks are hard, uh, wrong term because you can always do what you, you're going to do and it's day and age or social media and stuff. I can mm-hmm. be in my room and do what I'm doing and it happens to get out there and I'm now viral and no one else has helped me or stopped me from being able to do that. Mm-hmm. But um, let me just say, things are more difficult... For the darker uh, shade of individual, okay. I feel. Do you feel that's still the case now as much as it was prior to your break, or do you think... Um, yeah, but it's still the case, but yeah. it's not as, it's not as like, like I said before, because of social media, it's easier. Mm-hmm. There's other avenues now where before there was only one way, and if this guy is in control of this, yeah. and he doesn't want you to yeah. be here for yeah, his yeah. reasons, yeah. then it's that. It's not happening. Exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> also, with the emergence of social media as well, yeah. it's more, it's spoken about a lot more now. It is. So do you think that's broken down barriers as well? It has. That's why I don't mind. Everyone's got a problem with someone's tweets being dragged up on, oh, she said this. No, yeah. Duh, duh. Yeah. I don't mind that because it just yeah. shows how serious the issue was and how it was accepted then. Okay. Now we're talking about it more, which is good. And uh-huh. now we're saying, Do you know what? It's not cool. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I don't want anyone to get it twisted. Like, I don't want um, me trying to raise up dark-skinned women mm-hmm. or anyone else trying to raise up dark-skinned women, mm-hmm. bringing down anyone else. It's mm-hmm. not. I'm just trying to make it level. That's it. Okay. All right. So then you had the track, the track DBT? Yes. Okay. So, um... You released that? Yes. Then you decided, you know what? A remix. Remix. Okay. <laughs> so you decided to get some other people. I did. Not necessarily dark skinned. Not necessarily remix. dark no. skinned, no. Okay. Um, how did you go about picking those people for the remix? Because what my idea was, it was take, I wanted everyone to take the first line from my freestyle mm-hmm. and start their verse with it mm-hmm. and then go off on what it means to mm-hmm. them. Yep. So when I looked at the lines, for example, I had a version of the tune with No Lay on it. Now, No Lay is mixed raced. Mm-hmm. So like I, the line was, um, oh, look, there's the angry black female. Mm-hmm. And that's because I know she gets called this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Does> she? <laughs> She's mixed race, but she gets called an angry yeah. black female. Yeah. So yeah. she must feel a way about being told yeah. that all mm-hmm. the time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, do you not think that, what's your take Do you not it? think there might be a reason for that? 
I don't um, know. I don't know, no, Lay. Yeah, there might be a but reason. But from the outside looking in. So if I can say, Ra, I think you would be good to speak on this line mm-hmm. because people call you it. I can see why people may call her it. Yeah. So I thought it would be good for her to say, put her views across on that. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it didn't work out in the end to have her on the final tune. But yeah, I why just not? wanted why to. Not? Why, um, not? why not? Give me the juice. She had a schedule and it didn't work with her schedule. Hmm. So okay. there it is. Right. But yeah, I just wanted to align certain lines in my freestyle to certain people that I think it would be relevant for. So, yeah. Okay, all right. So, how did you pick the... How many people got there? One, two, three, four, five people. How did you pick those five? Um, just, what do you mean? How did that... Did yeah, I call you them? Cho- you cho- yeah, yeah. How do you choose? You could have picked um, Lady Likes. You could have picked... Yep. Why, why are you paid your cakey not in there? That, that <laughs> would have been good in the video. Because huh? I didn't think any line um, was good for her. Okay, I would have thought that would have been good for the video and shoot. How? So there's like drama oh. in the back. I didn't so say that. What are you talking about? Drama in the back. I didn't say nothing like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think she's lyrical. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. I don't know what you're thinking about. <laughs> But no, how do you say so you pick? So you, who you got? In there? You got Queenie in there. You got Stush, yeah. Shiesty, Lady Leisha, Little Sims. So yeah. I would so when you and then when you put it out, you had yeah. like the, car, the caricatures, yeah, c- 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 caricatures, <laughs> yeah, the caricatures of the um, of the artist. Uh, guess who this is? Guess who? This is. So I would assume, yeah. without even seeing those, that Stush might be on it, yeah, and that Shiesty might be on it, yeah. Those would be my first two guesses, yeah. Um, Queenie, not so much. Yep. In fact, I'd never heard of Queenie before. Okay, yeah. Um, Little Sims, yeah. definitely wouldn't have guessed that. And Lady yep. Leisha, I actually wouldn't have guessed that. Okay. Um, so why did you pick those three? I picked Queenie because Queenie is, um, she used to do music around the time that I started as well. We used to run around together. Okay. Um, and she had been away for a long period of time and I really wanted her to come back. I really respect Queenie. I think mm-hmm. she's an amazing talent and I just wanted the world to see that as well. Mm-hmm. So... Um, she came on board and I know how she feels about the situation as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad that she came on board. Obviously, mm-hmm. Stush. Mm-hmm. Um, what was her line again? How did it start? It's gone out of my head, but oh, I don't know. it was a perfect line and I just thought, yeah, mm-hmm. that's Stush all over. Um, Leisha, her line was like, I'm not in no industry mood. Because mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, yeah. you know, some people get on Leisha about, oh, you know, she only applies to the kids and da 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 Do they? Yes, they do. Oh, oh, okay. Um, and I feel like she's someone who's been consistent from back in the day and she's yeah. continued and nothing's ever knocked her off a stride. She has continued going. Mm-hmm. And I wanted her to put her angle on how she feels about the industry and how they may view her. I've never heard that before, really. Oh, yeah. Welcome okay. to it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so she only, why is she only for the kids? Oh, because you know when she'll do her freestyles and she might be like, oh, brush your teeth and stuff like that. Oh, That's right. Only okay, for yeah, kids. yeah, okay, right, right. okay, got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And Sims? Um, Sims. I would assume what? Sims is quite hard to get hold of. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I didn't think that she was going to agree to do it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so when she said, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is sick. And she sent me the verse and it yeah. was just yeah. swaggy. I was <laughs> like, oh, this is a whole new angle. And uh-huh. I liked it. I was like, yeah. Um, so yeah, and obviously Shiesty, Shiesty's been doing music for God knows mm-hmm. how long, and there was no way I was going to do a tune without Shiesty, like, no way. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. immediate reaction after you put that out like in your DMs and stuff it was just like raw you got you got these people together like, duh, duh, duh. but then at the same time you had raw where's this person where's that person who, who, who's the person most asked for um no lay really yeah okay it would have been good to get her on there though Should but we... I had that so yeah, I did but... Yeah. Do what I was. You tried. I tried. Yeah, you tried. You can only try in life. Okay. <laughs> and then recently, you um featured on the BBC. Yeah. Uh, website for your your comments. Was it? Uh, I didn't actually get to read it or even see it. I don't know if it was a video, but I saw you post it. Oh yes, about colorism. About colorism. Yes. Um, was that an interview or did they have they just taken? Um, comments from a, an interview that they might have seen online or something. No, it was an interview. Okay. I went in to talk to them about it. And they yeah. were asking you, what, what sort of things was that was discussed there? Just talking about what my views are on colorism. Is mm-hmm. it really an issue? Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like what you said, is it just mm-hmm. sensitivity or is okay. there really a problem here? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So you've been busy? You've been busy? 
Yeah, I've been busy. And then you um, you've got the the freestyle at like the Tom and Jerry, not Tom and Jerry, the <laughs> Tom, Tim and Barry. <laughs> you know why? Tom and Jerry. You know, you know why? Because the um, the Tim and Barry, the, the logo yeah. reminds me of Tom and Tom, Jerry. Yep, yep. Tim and Barry um, freestyle. Yes. And it looks like you're actually coming out of work. I am actually coming out. You of are- real life coming out of work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk about your you being like slightly embarrassed about making um or shy should I say a shy lion, <laughs> and then towards the end of that freestyle you're outside that cafe yes and everyone's looking at you yeah how did you feel making that fine really do you know what I always say this at work yeah if you get me to do a presentation PowerPoint presentation yeah. I can not when I say the piece of paper is gonna shake I'm mm. gonna be very embarrassed I can't. Yeah. Yeah, but if you want me to perform in front of thousands of people, yeah. I could do it in my sleep. And I don't know why this is. So I don't know because I couldn't do that. If I couldn't be, I couldn't. Be, I can't take selfies on the high road. <laughs> like, I'd be yeah, like, I feel funny about that as well, actually. So how would you do that then? Like I would have been like, you know what? We got to do this somewhere else. Like I can't do it here. <laughs> like I couldn't do it. Like because you can see that it's a whole thing. If it's just me taking a selfie, I'm just yeah. like. And as you walking up the streets, so and there must have been people, like obviously off, off camera that you can't see, people must be looking at it because you're obviously going to have the light shining. Yeah. So it's not even like subtle, it's dark, it's at night. Literally. So people must be looking thinking, who's this woman? And there's so many of them and they're tripping over themselves yeah. trying to like <laughs> get like the, the angles it's right. It's like the Leisha video, um, the one on the tube. Yes. Was, I could not do that. <laughs> That's mad. You have to get into game mode. Nah, no games. I'm switching <laughs> off the computer. I can't do it. But you did it and it was cool. I liked it. Thank but you. But I, I saw it. I thought, are you actually coming out of work? Because it really? looks like you actually are. Literally. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you got that out at the moment. Um, also, you spoke um, before you came on the mic about something that you've been doing today. Yes. No, I, I did see something about this, but I was going to ask you, but it, yeah. so it ties in neatly. Yeah. Um, I saw something with one extra and you're representing England. Yes. And <laughs> someone's representing Argentina and blah, blah. What's all that about? So uh, there's a few and artists. And two of you rep- representing England. From yeah. Coco, Coco's it? Yeah, Coco. Right, yeah. I think um, it's just a few artists to make a freestyle about one country that they've been given. Okay. Um, how how do you get Cup. given it? It's random. It's random. Okay. So I don't know. I feel like they've done a boo boo as to why there's <laughs> two of us for England. But no, no, there's two for other countries as well. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah, that's okay. all right then. That's fine then. Um, but yeah, so I've got to write that lyric and I've got to do it on Monday. So what's that then? You're going to go up to one extra and you're all going to be in the room? No, because I think they've done it uh, Friday. So they've already done theirs, but obviously I work uh, nine to five. Oh, uh, okay. Go. You weren't invited. <laughs> I just <laughs> couldn't make it. So I'm going on my lunch break. Really? On Monday, yes. Hard worker. Oh, no, mm. you know what? That's not far, actually. You can walk it. Definitely not going to walk it. Okay, all right. One couple stops on the tube. Okay, right, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to bang that out in an hour? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. That's not going to happen. It is going to happen. Are you going to be on time for one extra? I am. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> you see? You probably rate one extra, in it. No, Levels. no, Levels. no, no. It's just because, obviously, I've got a tight schedule and I've got to get back to work. Right, okay. Hmm. <laughs> And also, so we talk about um, what you've done with, with the, the free side you've got, get out, you've got out at the moment the, um, that's available to watch on YouTube. Yeah. Is it on YouTube? It is on YouTube, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Um, you've got your single that's out. You've also got Everything Mad that's still out. You've, yeah. also, you've re-released your old um, project that you released I did, out. to be yeah. honest, yeah. What, what made you re-release that? Because I feel like there's so many new people, new listeners and supporters now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't really know me from Adam, so mm-hmm. let me just give you a little taste of what I'm kind of like. Even mm-hmm. though it's a little bit... Actually, it's not... It is dated, but it's not dated. <laughs> All music is new music to anyone who's not heard it exactly, before, right? Exactly, there you go. Okay. Um, and... Oh, you recently were advertising something about Still Band. I want you to talk about yes, that as well. Yes, Ebony Still Band. So what is that? Um, so, the thing in particular that I was uh, promoting was a summer holiday um, programme, let's say, that is centred around getting kids out of the house... Mm-hmm. Um, My child never leaves. Really? Yeah. Because he doesn't want to leave? He doesn't want to leave. There you go. But, but here's the thing. I feel to kick him out of the house. <laughs> Honestly, and this is the dilemma that I've got. Yeah. I want to kick him out of the house. Because me now, I was I, you couldn't keep me in. Like, I want to <laughs> yeah. go out, play out. There's no one else is playing out. I'm playing out on my own. Yeah. Why, like, I'm out. Why not? What am I staying indoors for? But that, that you, not, you will not <laughs> leave the house. I'm looking at him thinking, what's wrong with you? Yeah. But then if I kick him out of the house and something mad happens. Yeah, then you're going to feel... So maybe you need to get him involved in some sort of scheme. Some sort of, no. Or maybe you go out the house with him. He doesn't like me. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like me. 
So you've got what you've got to do is organise trips. Yeah. And him and his friends. Yeah. And then you just stay far at the back. You don't cramp their style. But him and his friends, like, I don't even know what they do. I don't <laughs> even know if they go out either. He'll be at home all day playing Fortnite on the phone or this on the computer. It. And that's this it. Is it. It's all these About games. five of them. They're all in their bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> but when we was growing up, it yeah, wasn't necessarily all about games. It was outside, concrete, grass, right, park. <laughs> but then, but then now it's about concrete, parks, and knives. So it's <laughs> yeah, exactly. A little bit different, so, so it's a little different. Yeah, it's true. To be fair. So I don't know. I'm in a dilemma. But go on, still ban. But yeah, there was just a few horrible statistics. Like 50 percent of children under the age of 11 mm. are left unsupervised every summer holidays. Might be a single parent, mum's out working. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so many things like that that were upsetting. So, Ebony Steel Band have put together a summer scheme and program mm-hmm. um, to make it so that kids can come down, learn mm-hmm. how to play steel pans, learn how to cook, mm-hmm. learn how to make carnival costumes, yep. go on trips, do all of this stuff. But it's all for free. And where is this? It's going to be in West London, so like Ladbrook, Grovey kind okay. of sides. All right. And do you know when it starts? It's going to be July, I'm assuming, after school. It's going to be in July, yeah. Okay. All right. So um, if anyone wants to know any more information about it, they can find out where? At Ebony Steel Band uh-huh. on, on Instagram. You know, I didn't think you were going to know. <laughs> You're trying to put me on the spot. I actually did. Boom! I thought you were going to go, um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Right, so I do want to play another track that you've got at the moment. Yes. Uh, featuring, well, not featuring, featuring yourself um, mm-hmm. by... Lola Godhell, Ooh. who are almost called Lilo Gold again. Yeah. Um, now, again, this is a very much of a of a track with a theme. Yes. Yeah. It's got it's got a real meaning behind it. Yes. How did you two come together, and why? Um, she literally just hit me up. I've got this song I really like. If you could did come you two, in there. Did you, did you two know each other before? No, okay. but I knew, I knew her partner. Okay. But I didn't, I didn't know her. Okay. Um, but yeah, we spoke. She sent me the song. The mm-hmm. song was sick. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I want in. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and here we made magic. Okay, all right. So I'm going to play that in a minute. Yes. But before that, we're going to um, almost wrap up by okay. p- doing what I do with all the interviews. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, and, but because it's you and because we've done one already, I'm going to give you the choice. Okay. All right. So what we normally do is we've got a game called Karaoke Challenge. Right. And we didn't get to do it with you last time because you were in for five minutes because you were late. Oh yeah. Did I mention that before? I'm not sure if I did. Right. So, but we have got time now. <laughs> but as I say, we've done it earlier with my previous guests. Yeah. So I don't necessarily have to do it with you. So you've got a okay. choice. Cool. You can either. Yeah. Do the karaoke challenge. Yeah. Or you can do a little freestyle. Oh. And I'll put on, I don't know, a grind beat for you or something. Wait, so what's the karaoke challenge? Basically, good question. Karaoke challenge is you pick a number between one and ten. Yeah. And I've got lyrics um, (laughs) numbered between one and ten. And whatever song correlates with that number is the track that you perform. So they could be any rate. It could be a ballad. It could be a grime track. It could be, I, I do know that none of them are yours. So you won't get that um, <laughs> bonus. Bit. So I don't know because that can, sounds fun, but it could go really left. But left is great for me anyway. <laughs> I like well. left. <laughs> yeah. And some of the people that have done it are really bad, but some are really good. So how about yeah? Mm-hmm. We do the karaoke challenge. Yeah. If it fails, yeah. Then I just cut it off quickly and we do a freestyle. You could do that. <laughs> Would you like to do that? Yes, please. All right, cool. Well, that being the case. <laughs> Pick a number between one and ten. Nine. Oh, okay. It's my fave number. Okay, right. What is nine? I don't think we've ever had nine. <gasps> Ooh, uh, you done? might like this. I'll tell you who had this. Um, you've been to Troy Bar before? Uh, yeah. Do you know Hannah? Who, who hosts Troy Bar? No. Okay, but, okay so the lady that ho- hosts Troy Bar, um, Hannah, she's got a group called Han Lee. So I had them in before, and they're the only people to have got this song. Okay. Um, they were awful, right? <sighs> Let me just get this up. Before I do, while I'm looking for the instrumental to this, let people know who you are, what you do, and your, what you do, sorry, your, in, your <laughs> social media. <laughs> was, yeah, exactly. All that good socials. Stuff. So, yeah, thanks for listening, guys. We've been listening. I'm Lioness. You can catch me on Instagram at Lioness and all other socials at Lioness Official. Was that too quick? That was You're not, I'm too really quick. sorry. <laughs> One more time, I didn't let hear me, you. Let, me, you let me tell you a joke in the meantime. Yeah, tell, tell me a joke. All right, so why are pirates called pirates? Here we go, why? Because they are. <laughs> I genuinely bust up every time. I think that's a good... This 
What is this song? Is your song? Ah, oh, all right. So I'm playing it. This isn't the instrumental, but I'm just playing it so you get to hear okay. it again. Oh, this is cool. All right. Yeah? Cool. yeah. Are you going to be all right with this? Oh, can I still hear it? Yeah, it's okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, but what I'm going to do, obviously, when I do play it to you, there'll be no lyrics. It'll be on your own. What? Well, I can't have the lyric page. Oh, you got the lyric page? Oh, yeah, yeah. My lyrics are going to be playing. Um, I've got my own lyric page. If you get stuck, I'll try and help you. Okay, cool. All right. Are you ready? You've been confident? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, one second. Just start it again. So you know when to come in. I feel like okay. I feel like these lyrics are written wrong. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say. Someone else said that. It was from Google, but we'll soon find out. I don't know. <laughs> Cause you know what? I've got a feeling you might be right. I've got to be honest. <laughs> so we just gonna do one verse. All yeah? right, we do one verse. And if verse. you know what the actual lyric is. You do your bit. All right. All right. Do you want me to play this one more time so you know when to come in? Or are you confident? You're, you're comfortable? You're happy? You're good to go? Let's go. <laughs> are you ready? Ready. What's your name and what are you performing? Lioness performing Lethal B Festa Skank. Boom. Get, get him with it. Get, get him with it. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. You might see me in a Lambo, Camel Snapback, Rambo, <laughs> 500 Horses, Django, 2-2 two, two Chicken, Nando. Ah, uh, you might see me in a Rari, old school fella, Atari. <laughs> it's a new dance, no tango. Anywhere I go, I make the gang go. Fessa. Yeah, it's wrong, isn't it? wrong. Fessa. Fessa. Oh, you know why? <laughs> It's the remix. That's why. Oh. That's why it was wrong. Right. Oh. So. Okay. So I haven't lost the challenge. Technically, I've won because it was. No. So what you're gonna have to do is do your own freestyle. Cool. Ready? Yeah, but what? What? Um. To this? Over this? Oh no, it's too slow. It's too so slow. What do you want? Okay. Let's have see. You got what any, have you got like rhythm and oh. gash? Don't like to say gash, but you know. Rhythm and gash. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? What can I find for you in? Hmm. Okay, right. So let's see. I'm going to do something. Any grime. Grimy. Grimy. Grimy, 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 grimy. Two, two chicken. It's so funny when you see someone's lyrics written. You really know what's. There you go. As you are both doing um, the England, uh, working for England, working yeah. for England, doing a um, uh, freestyle for England. Yes. I've got a cocoa beat here. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Coming in now. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. I know you wish that I stayed in the mood Cause it benefits you if I remain in the draw But my levels ain't dipped and the levels ain't soared So here we are just the same as before And I don't give a freak if you're selling some more That's a numbers game I know the score, I still bun the place and lick down the doors And yeah they came to but me they can't ignore Because I kill it the minute I bar Never been a gimmick when I spit it I apart with the ill is too sick and can you mimic? Nah, because you know that lyrics for lyrics Karma, me and them ain't the same man Tata, try put us in the same lane But nah, I'm chosen, I spit flames Flow lava, I know this time ain't games I'ma start by showing I'm here to stay No half heart <laughs> It's cool taking a nap nap Cause you ain't gonna handle when I clap back To everybody's afraid of the black cat I am on a roll Run circles around you, tag a bow You won't even know what's going down Till I fag a throw Watch how I heat up the town Like the lion roll That's why they're lagging low Ah, uh, and so be it Didn't come back for friends I'm alone in it I ain't say something And you don't like the tone in it You got a problem Cool phone, phone's in it Everybody's got a dark side I just roam in it Own race want a bad mind But we soldier it No way, I'ma let it slide I'm not over it Better mark my words Nobody's gonna get a blind Till I get the task over I still wanna have to continue To mask over Working our ass Often don't get what we get you, but we let it pass over Cause that's how the industry move I ain't in the industry mood, bun that I'ma do what I do, but I done chat I just had to give them my view hey. Linus, you're in the building hey, hey. Thank you very much, Linus, one more time What are your socials? Yo, at Linus Official on all socials Apart from Instagram, which is just at Linus mm-hmm. Thank you very much for your time And anything we should be aware of, anything that's coming up real soon You really need to look out for my project It will tell you a bit about why I've been away for so long Ooh, what project's this? Ooh and you left at the give. very end. That's what? all I can give. I'm sorry. Okay, when's the project coming out? The end of this year. 
when you say the end of this year, like we're talking about December, are we talking about? We're talking about the end of this year. <laughs> Linus, thank you very much for joining us here on Top Radio. Thanks for having me. And this one is, as we say goodbye, this is Lola Godheld and Linus, the bird song here on Top. I'm the kind of girl you want to marry Wanted him by the end of sadness Show me signs that you've lost your mind I'm the kind of girl you give your time She's the kind of girl you try to hide Got no problems with being on the side I'm feeling